Workforce housing has been at a premium in Port Aransas ever since Hurricane Harvey, but today the city held a groundbreaking for Palladium Port Aransas, a first of its kind development there. And our Greg Chandler has more. Today's groundbreaking was a mere formality because as you can see, work has been going on here for quite some time. Now there's never been a development like this in Port Aransas. 182 units specifically designed to house the city's workforce. Three. City leaders say Port Aransas needs a place to house its workforce. Soon Palladium will be that place. So much of our workforce is either coming up the island road or they're sitting in the ferry line for, you know, an hour each day, each way. And that's the game changer. Port A Mayor Charles Bouillon called the project a dreamland. He believes Palladium will help Port A's workforce live where they work. This will provide them with another alternative so that they can live here and not have to go through the ferry wait, not have to go through um, the traffic on 361. City leaders first came up with the idea in 2013, but it wasn't until Hurricane Harvey that the need became dire. It took the hurricane and all the damage to the workforce housing to kind of prod the city to you know, really buckle down. Palladium will pay for roughly half the project. The rest will come from the Department of Housing and Community Affairs. That means no city or county money will be spent. $36 million project, not a penny to the taxpayer of Port Aransas, and uh, we're really excited. Officials say the first buildings should be ready to go here in about 14 months. The leasing office will start accepting applications 120 days beforehand. In Port Aransas, Greg Chandler. Chris Six News. And once the first building opens, Palladium officials say the complex should take another four months to finish.